is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Bulgaria, weighing it at 231 pounds, he is the CCW Southeastern Champion. This is Meadow! Welcome back, wrestling fans. Back to the group 39. Here comes Meadow. It'll be very interesting to see how well he gets along with his tag team partners, the tag team champions, the crown. As far as I know, Meadow, no friend to the crown. Are you ready? But the crown certainly has had their problems as of late to the South American Alliance namely Levy and the Brazilian Destroyer as they are looking to regain the tag team titles. Venetius and Levy held those titles for well over a year and are probably the most dominant tag team in the history of Coastal Championship Wrestling, at least the longest title holders with the crown quickly approaching that record. And his tag team partners from the fifth dimension, weighing in at over 500 pounds of pure gold, Lee Jonas and Maximus Khan, the crown! We are anxiously awaiting the entrance of our tag team champions, and there they are. Leonis and Maximus Khan, the crown. What an impressive pair. From the moment they arrived here at Coastal Championship Wrestling, we knew they were destined for greatness. They were destined to hold those tag team titles. And they've been firmly in their grasp for the last year or so. I really have no idea what to expect in terms of teamwork between the Crown and Meadow. All three men champions. Certainly not friends, at least not to my knowledge. I mean, it is conceivable when they spend time in the gym together, all three men well put together, incredibly powerful. Meadow taking the high road there, giving him plenty of space. Well, I think at the end of the day, victory is the goal. So whether they like each other or not, it really shouldn't matter as they're gonna need to work together especially against the tandem of the South American Alliance. All three men, good friends, all three men know each other very well and had tagged together before. Alan S2S Martinez, Ariel Levy, and the Brazilian destroyer Vinicius. Referee for this contest, Amy Veronica. Possibly the best referee here in CCW, if I don't say so myself. And their opponents at a total combined weight of 720 pounds. The team of Allen S2S Martinez, Ariel Levy, and the Brazilian destroyer, Vanichas. They are the South American Alliance! Here they are. Levy, Martinez, and Vinicius. And of course, Martinez. 
former CCW Cruiserweight Champion, Venetia and Levy, former Tag Team Champion, Levy himself, former CCW Heavyweight Champion. Levy and Venetia will get their shot at the ground once again in Port St. Lucie at our 20th anniversary event. This coming Friday, we'll see if that takes anything into the strategy of their matchup. Whether they'll try to into the crown, soften them up for their match this coming Friday. A lot of implications here in this one. And we will see where it all ends. Veronica's going to have her hands full. Six men face to face here. Veronica trying to keep them separated. As I said, she's got her hands full in this one. All men known to be incredibly aggressive. Not one of them about to take a back seat to another. Not one of them ready to back down. Venetius, although not the most muscular man in the match. Certainly the largest, and pound for pound, possibly the strongest. Tipping the scales at 350 plus pounds. The crown, each standing about six feet, three inches tall, 250 plus pounds apiece. Meadow, 235 pounds, shredded, in fantastic condition, as are Martinez and Levy. None of these titles, of course, are on the line in this matchup. This should be a great one. I can't wait for the bell to ring and see what ride this takes us on. The crowd very much fan favorites. Meadow, not so much. Meadow telling the crown he wants to start the matchup. The crown exit the ring. It'll be Meadow and the Brazilian destroyer to kick things off. Referee giving final instructions. She calls for the bell. This six man tag team match is underway. Meadow and Venetius come face to face in the center of the ring. Venetius with a bit of a height advantage and certainly a big weight advantage. Tipping the scales at about 350 pounds. Meadow 235. If my math is right, that's 115 pounds that Venetius has on Meadow. And all 115 extra pounds was behind that overhand shot to the chest. Meadow returning the favor. And Venetius shrug it off. Meadow fired up. Venetius down again with the overhand shot. But it only incensed Meadow. Meadow now with successive blows on Venetius. Oh, and he picked the big man up. Spine busters him down. What an incredible show of strength by the Southeastern champion. Meadow was going for that spear, but Venetius caught him with that cross body block, a little bit off the mark, and Venetius still staggered. Spinning black hole slam, oh wow, he dropped him right on the back of his head. Meadow could be on Dream Street here, as Venetius talks the crowd, driving in the end of the midsection of the South Central Champion. Oh, double Inzaguri by the South American Alliance. Beautifully done, great timing, great teamwork. Venetius tagging his partner. Ariel Levy now, springboard, leg drop across the chest. And Levy with the boots to the back of Meadow. 
now he's mounted up right hands to the top of the head. Meadow covering up, trying to glance off some of those blows. Levy now picking him back up, bringing him back to his corner. The South American Alliance now in control. Tag me to Alan Martinez. That's to us now. Enters the ring. Martinez and Levy sending him across. Hard into the buckle goes Meadow. And Levy with a double knee to the chest. Flying for him off the back of Levy connects. Referee needs to get one of these men out of the ring. Double knee to the face that time. And Martinez drags him out for the pinfall. Only gets a two count. Meadow incredibly powerful. Martinez now staying on top of his opponent. The crown had yet to enter the ring. Right hand by Meadow and a bear hug. Martinez quickly out of that one. Ooh, basement drop kick caught him right in the side of the head. No leg drop. Has him hooked too. Only a two count. South American Alliance working well as a team. Double hip toss. The crown have yet to enter the matchup. Ooh, what a kick to the chest and a kick to the back. Martinez out of the ring. Goes for the cover. Does Levy. Two count. Well, Levy mocking the crown. That did not sit well with them. Ooh, and he dropped him across the throat. Oh, and a spinning discus clothesline. Meadow, Levy is down now. At the receiving end of a devastating clothesline by the Southeastern champion. Levy firing a, sh a shot into the midsection. Leona's Khan now gets the tag from Meadow. And look at this. Meadow and Khan working together. Referee now counting. One of them needs to get out of the ring. Double shoulder tackle on Levy. Leona's Khan now. Waiting patiently on Levy as he tries to get back to his feet. He's going to help him up and he's going to help him right back down with a vicious nice knife edge chop right to the chest. The heavy hand of Leonis Khan leveling Adia Levy. Now driving in the end of the midsection. Looking across the ring to his brother. Brother has his hand out for the tag, but Levy firing back. Missing wildly with that clothesline is Leonis Khan. But Levy caught by the powerful. Khan now, fall away slam on Levy right into his corner, kip up. Talking the South American Alliance. Attack made, here comes Maximus. Driving the knee right into the rib cage. And a shot to the midsection. Boot right to the head. Oh! A blow from either side. Levy in serious trouble here. Maximus Khan now going for the cover, way out of position as the referee. Two, only gets a two count. Khan not happy about it. Forearm blow to the back. Ooh, and another knife edge chop. Levy staggers back into the wrong corner. The crown had Levy up in a vertical suplex. Look at this. Unbelievable. Beautiful tag team work. All the blood rushing to the head. The awful close to his corner. Wisely, Khan dragging him away. Closer to the center of the ring. Makes the tag. Here comes Maximus. Interestingly, it's the cons that have been tagging in and out with one another. Meadow has yet to enter the ring since tagging out the initial time there. Oh, and Levy shoving the crown into one another makes the tag to Martinez. Martinez coming in by way of the top rope. Double clothesline finds its mark. Beautifully done. Drop kick on Meadow. Meadow coming into the ring, though. Oh, wiping out. 
Alan Martinez now. Here comes Vinicius and Levy in. We have five men in the ring. One of the crown on the outside. That's it. They're Amy calling for the bell, wasting no time. This one is broken down. She's not about to deal with this nonsense. Maximus Khan on the outside, and now Levy and Martinez, the only ones in the ring, Vinicius and Meadow. Vinicius and Meadow exchanging blows here. Vinicius grabbing the front face lock. Meanwhile, on the outside of the ring, they're pummeling each other. And now Meadow out of the way of a clothesline from Vinicius. Clothesline from Vinicius over the top rope. Everyone outside the ring now as Meadow exits through the ropes. And this one has broken down. Levy going back in the ring. We got five men right in front of our announce table here. And they're going at it. Oh, look out, Levy. Tope Suicida taking out the field. Martinez back on the apron of the ring. Maximus Khan on the knee. The bell sounds again. This one has got to be a disqualification. Martinez stopping on the arm of Maximus Khan. Look out, Moonsault connects. Taking out both members of the crown and Meadow. We need to get order restored here. We need more referees. We need some help from the back. I don't think this one's gonna end unless somebody intervenes. Amy Veronica needs to do something here to gain control. Meadow with a shot right to the ribcage, right in front of me here. Venetius now in trouble. The Southeastern champion has him. Sends him back into the ring. We need some help in the back here. We need to get order restored. Venetius with Meadow. Has him up in a power. Oh! Spear by Khan on Venetius. Meadow. Feeling the effects of that power bomb, but not nearly as much as if Venetius is able to execute that move properly. Khan is wiping Venetius out as Venetius is favoring his ribcage. Levy from behind with a kendo stick. And again, the bell sounds. We definitely need help from the back here. This one's completely broken down. And a spear again, this time on Levy. Martinez now going to the top. Meteore connects. Crown is taken out. Meadow with a spear, though, on Martinez. Oh, my goodness. He's broken in half. Oh, come on. Venetius has a keg. Swinging into the ring. Look out. Now this thing has gotten completely out of control. Levy again with that kendo stick. We need help from the back. At least get me some more referees out here. Rolling another peg underneath that bottom road. The crowd now, look out. Look out from behind. Levy just got clobbered with that keg. This, somebody's got to do something here before serious injury takes place. Venetius and Khan collide, each of them with a keg. And here comes the locker room. It's about time for crying out loud. Somebody, oh my goodness gracious. Now this thing is broken down. They're trying to pull him apart, but enemies are in that ring with one another as well. I don't know where this one's gonna end. All three referees in the ring. This one is completely broken down. They're trying to keep him separated. There's Elliot Crow pulling Crown, pulling Leona's Cod off. K.A. Slash in there, Chris Farrow, Tapia, Nick Turner, Fair Rojas. Nobody's gonna hold back Meadow though as he dives across the ring. I think he hit his own partner, not even realizing what's going on. This thing is just completely out of control. Somebody's gotta restore order here. Get somebody out of the ring. Levy coming off that second row, rocket and somebody, I don't even know if he knows who's drop kicking. Meadow escapes the fray. This is completely out of control. I think Amy Veronica had the right idea calling for the double disqualification at the onset of this, but they needed more help to begin with. They let this thing get completely blown out of proportion here. 
and I don't know where it could possibly end. Uh, it looks like they got him subdued somewhat. Iris, oh, come on now. Maximus Khan diving over everybody, going after Venetius. And now Leona's Khan attacking, attacking Martinez. Bodies falling all over the place. Those kegs are still in the ring. They're incredibly dangerous. Nick Turner, the kid Cesar Chavez, holding back uh, Leona's Khan. All right, wrestling fans, we're going to take a break. we got to get order restored here. Well, clearly we've not seen the end of the feud between the Crown and the South American Alliance. Meadow appears to be well in line with his tag team partners here tonight. There was no dissension whatsoever. Although the Crown did tag in and out with one another. They certainly took the fight to the South American Alliance. Finally, about eight or so wrestlers and three referees were able to get the South American Alliance Ladies out of the ring. I've just been informed that this match has resulted in a no contest. Not a big surprise there, the official announcement made by Lisa Almeida. Wrestling fans, chaos ensuing here at Back to the Boo number 39. Finally, we have some sort of order restored here, but this one far from over. Coming up next, an incredible grudge match. ERA taking on Domino. We'll be right back. 